A forgotten artifact lies in pieces on a planet far from Earth. Few know it exists except those who took it back and those whose ancestors created it. Four young people are thrown into a race against emissaries of the gods to find its pieces. Mistrust, greed, and magic are tangled in an endless web. What will the fate be of the universe once it is found and reassembled? Get Scepter of the Gods, The Rod of Truth now on Amazon and get wrapped up in the saga that will not let you go. Good morning and welcome to the Motivational Devotion, where we are merging motivation and spirituality to create a daily dose of confident positivity. I hope that this morning's podcast will help you to be more spiritually and positively motivated so that you can transform your day. This is a special episode in a series of podcasts based on Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. For several years now, I have gone back to the habits taught in this book to prepare for the coming year and home in closer and closer to my lifelong dream and my goals so that I could more effectively achieve my goals. Year after year, we hear people joking about setting New Year's resolutions and then abandoning them by February. Personally, I don't find that very funny. I hope that your resolutions are more important to you than to give them up after only a month or two. What if you were to set one, two, maybe three at the most resolutions or goals for 2024, and then at the end of 2024, find that you nailed each one of them? You can. I set two goals that to me were very large. As I talk about in the motivational devotional, I had to change and grow to become more than I was in order to achieve those goals. As I say this now, I have done that. I changed. I grew. I achieved. Starting with the November 27, 2023 podcast and running through the New Year's Eve podcast, This series offers 35 episodes of principles, inspiration, and motivation that I use toward fulfilling my own lifelong dream. I have audacious goals for 2024, but only three, because more than that will water down your efforts. I will achieve mine by this time next year. You can do the same, and I hope you will pursue yours with relentless intent. If you find these helpful, please go to the Motivational Devotional Facebook page and let me know. For now, let's get on with it. Where are you headed today? Surely you have plans, places to go, people to see, things to do, you know. If you don't keep a to-do list, you probably at least have some priorities in your mind. As you run those things through your mind, think about what you wish your life would look like at the end of it. What will people be thinking of you? What would you like people to say about you? Where would you like to be living? Who would you like to be with? Now, with where you are headed today... Are you headed there? I mean, which of the things you have to do today is something that will get you to what you were wanting the end of your life to be like? Do you remember that Bruce Springsteen song, Glory Days? It was a really big hit back in the day and gets played a lot on classic rock stations even now. Maybe it's because we get together with friends over the holidays that we haven't seen in quite a while or it's nostalgia or... I don't know. For some reason this time of year, people think back to the good old days. Well, maybe it's not just this time of year. It's not, is it? People do that a lot. They will say, man, back in the day, I could do this. I could do that. I was great. To me, what's really sad is to hear people say that in their 30s, as if they're already at the end of a lifetime. But the truth is, if a person would live into their 90s, they're only a third of the way there. And if you rule out the first 18 years as not really counting, then it's really only about 15 years or so out of that 30-ish, with about 70 to go. So why are the good old days back there anywhere? In another 15 years, will you be reminiscing about right now? The refrain of that Springsteen song goes like this, Glory days, well, they'll pass you by. Glory days, in the wink of a young girl's eye, glory days, glory days. It's a song about looking back. It's a song about how we look around in the present, look at how it isn't exciting or inspiring or it doesn't feel good for some reason, and we think back with the idea that then, boy, then we were so much better off. But were we really? I mean, 
Maybe the body hurt less then. Maybe fewer bad things had happened to us. And maybe the skin was less wrinkly and we had more hair. But were we really better off then? Could it possibly be that the reason life felt more fun then was because back in the glory days, we had hope? In the glory days, we were looking to the future with ideas of what we could be or what we planned to be. Isn't that really what made the glory days glory days? Well, I think when we think about it that way, that's really good news. I mean, in my youth, there were a ton of things that I didn't know how to do that I know now. There were a ton of things I wasn't good at that I've gotten a lot better at now. There were a whole ton of things I never thought I could do that I have decided, what the heck, let's give it a shot. And I've surprised myself by pushing my own limits. I mean, imagine yourself 20 years ago trying to make it through one of your days now without deciding it's a good day to start drinking heavily. Here's something even more sobering. If you took on the attitude of your youthful, I can do anything, superpower, devil may care self, and launched forward pushing your limits and stretching what you know and what you can do now, What kind of amazing person will you be 20 years from now? If you're in your 30s, that's still only when you're in your 50s. And even if you're in your 60s now, 20 years from now is still only when you're in your 80s. I saw an article just last week about a woman who two years ago was 105 years old, Julia Hawkins of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, who became the oldest woman to run a 100-meter race. Now, if somebody asked you now if you can run 100 meters in 62 seconds, you probably would say without a doubt that that would be simple. The world record is 9.58 seconds. But wait, do it when you're 105 years old with no assistance, no device, just you in your running shoes powered by relentless intent. That August day in 2021... An interviewer asked Julia if she was worried about her competition, and she replied, No, I wasn't worried because the other runner wasn't an athlete. I am. Keep in mind, she wasn't ever a professional athlete. Julia Hawkins retired as a schoolteacher. Tell me how many people would even consider themselves to still be an athlete at 105 years of age. Think about it. I've got time. Tell you what, and I would like this much better. Reply in the comments of this podcast on our Motivational Devotional Facebook page that you have decided you will do anything like this when you're 105, no matter what it is. Maybe at 105 you will be a chef, a musician, a writer, a public figure of some kind, a great-great-great-grandparent, or maybe... You will also be an athlete, even if today you are a couch potato. So, back to the original question. Where are you headed today? I hope that now your answer may be something like, you are headed to 105 years old to be something incredible that you can't, at this point, do or be. you got all these years to figure it out and practice and learn. Why not? Why not begin today with the end in mind and do something, just one thing today that gets you one step closer to that finish line? After all, you can't lose if you pursue it with relentless intent over the next 30 to 70 years because all of creation is conspiring in your favor. Trust that the universe always has your back and you will get there. Stephen Covey once said, your most important work is always ahead of you, never behind you. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. Please help keep this podcast going by following the Motivational Devotional Facebook page, following at Threefold Way Radio on Twitter, and sharing the written format of today's message from motivational-devotional.com on your social media. I am deeply grateful for your support, and thank you for letting Motivational Devotional be part of your journey. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Three Fold Way Radio, LLC.